Oh, we got him, folks. We got him. Not expecting this big bad boy. We got big helicopters flying the beach and smoker kings, baby. This one's close. This one's real close. Man. We're going to do king mackerel ceviche. Oh, yeah. So I just pulled up out here, got my kayak, and I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to run out here and grab me a fish for the catch and cook episode. Hopefully we get either a bluefish or a bonita, something around there. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, I'm all set up. Now the drag begins. Hope I can run into something. It's a little rocky out here. It's pretty awesome. Come right up and down the beach all the time this time of day. Usually throughout the day. Anything from C-17, C-130s, Bad Albert, Blue Angels. Pretty awesome. Pensacola Beach wouldn't be the same without the smell of jet fuel and American firepower. America. Fish on, fish on. Not sure what it is. It might be a hardtail. Kind of surprised me. I wasn't really think I was going to catch something right there. Shit. Got a hardtail, tossed him back there. Just not what I'm going for. I'm not going for a king, but if one hits it, I'll, I'll take him. So go ahead and throw him back there. Let him run around, do his thing. Put the clicker on, and then try to catch some Spanish or bluefish. I see some birds diving over there. Let's get back to it. Uh, I've got something. Got something. He's big too. Oh, that was a king or a shark. King or a shark right here, baby. King or shark. Definite king or shark. I think it's a shark. Yeah, I think it's a shark, people. I think it's a shark. Maybe not. I think we might be here for a while, folks. Got a head shake. Got a big head shake. I think whatever it is is kind of giving up on life here. Oh, what is this? All right, gonna loosen my drag up a little bit. It's a big ass king. Woo! Hopefully, no shark slams him at the boat. I'm gonna back off the drag a little bit. Just get him in stabbing range. Looking for sharks here, looking for sharks, folks. Looking for sharks. Get him on the other side of the boat here. Oh, we got him folks we got him and that is a that is a day right there call it a day Whew. put him up here man now, that was a fight folks i was not expecting this big bad boy we got big helicopters flying the beach 
and Smoker Kings, baby. This one's close. This one's real close. Man. We're gonna do King Mackerel Ceviche. Oh yeah, time to head in. Let's head in. All right, y'all saw what I did. I literally just came out here and paddled around for about an hour with a big hardtail back there. No duster, completely naked, and just let him do work. And look what I got right here. Look at that. Got me one. You did? Yeah, I got a king. Oh, nice. Yeah, right after I got done talking to you, I threw my line, my line snapped. So I had to come. Oh, dang. Oh, this bad boy went steaming. So. Ah. What is that? Good job. It's a king, king mackerel. Hey guys, so I just ran into a huge king mackerel. Take him home to cook him. I gotta pack up. Everything's over here. It's gotta go on the truck over here and I gotta clean him up. I'm just gonna flame, cut the bloodline out, soak it, and then take him home for Samantha to cook. We'll see what she has in store. Tell you what, there's nothing better than a slimy, bloody kayak to end the day. Had one bait, one had one hardtail, and that's all I used in the hour I was out there to catch that fish. One bait. I caught on a jig and hooked him in the mouth, chunked him out there. Good day. I took the king mackerel and I put it in uh, one of the bags I had since I wasn't really prepared um, with some frozen water bottles uh, and I put another set of it in um, one of my uh, one of my coolers that had my lunch in it from today a little cleaner a couple frozen water bottles so that way uh, can't say that the meat's dirty I literally just filleted him and then when I get there I'm gonna cut the, the bloodline out and go from there so that wraps it up I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now I got to drive about 30 minutes to Samantha's house. Um, I'll go ahead and give her a call, tell her, hey, I got me a big king, figure out how to cook him. So I'm going to offload my stuff when I get there, clean it off, and we'll go straight into the kitchen. See what we can scrounge up. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, so I just got back here at the house got everything still in the truck and I'm going to offload it and do my best on cleaning it off because I'm gonna go out again tomorrow. I'm gonna go in here right now and talk to Samantha. So I just got back to the house. Samantha's right here doing the, the mission prep and we're gonna do King Mackerel Ceviche. Is that how you say it? Ceviche. Ceviche. Yeah. And so how does that work? So ceviche is where you take a raw seafood, so fish or shrimp, and you cook it in citrus. So today we are going to use lime juice and orange juice and a little olive oil. And that has to marinate for about 30 minutes to two hours, depending on how big you cut the chunks of fish. So Jack's going to do them small so we can eat soon. Yeah, we're yeah it's already like <laughs> seven o'clock and the citrus will slowly cook the fish. So it's not gonna be like seared, it's just gonna be uh, kind of opaque white. So after the fish marinates, then we're gonna drain it from the juices and the citrus sauce, and we're gonna mix up a little salad. So tomatoes, pineapple, avocado, red onion, and the cooked uh, 
the cooked king mackerel so it should be really tasty so the fish is cooked not by heat by the acid and the citrus juices Sweet. so it'll be cooked it's not going to be raw per se but it's not cooked in the traditional way it's really good so i've never made it before so you guys are joining me on my first time awesome All right, so this is my setup, how I had this meat in here. Just had some frozen water bottles right there. And I had the meat in there. It's not the best way of doing it, but it's the only way I had at the time, and it's working pretty good. So what I just did is I, I cleaned the meat, and I sliced it up in the, I just took the filet and sliced it up into like big quarter chunks. Uh, rinse it off in some water, gonna let it soak for a second, then I'm gonna take it and chunk it into how big of pieces? Small, small cubes. The Sm smaller the cubes, the quicker it will marinate. She get, she keeps yelling at me about the size of the cubes, but I think it's, it, it, it matters. You know, you gotta be specific. Small cubes. Small pieces. She fired me. She took the knife from me. Now she's doing the, the small cubes. I'm OCD, I can't help it. This fish has been, have been sitting in the marinade for about five minutes, as long as it takes me to cube it up. And you can tell the outside of some of the pieces are starting to get white, and that's what we want. That's what I mean by cooking it. The acid cooks the fish. We're gonna cover it, put it in the fridge. We'll check it in 30 minutes and then see how white it is. And if it's not cooked all the way, we'll let it go another 30 minutes. If it's ready, then we will assemble the rest of the salad. All right, so this is pretty exciting. I've never seen this done before. I've never had it before. Uh, so when I, when I called her and said, hey, I got a big king, let's do something with it. We had to do ceviche. So I was throwing the shout outs, Angler Up, Brand Peacher out there when he did, I think it was redfish ceviche. So we're gonna do it with king mackerel. I think it's gonna be good. Pretty excited about it. I've got the other, got the other part of the king over here. I'm going to go ahead and slice that up and put it in Ziploc bags and put it in the refrigerator. So just did this on the fly. I really wasn't uh, expecting to catch king mackerel. So you see how it's starting to get white. Mm -hmm. And then right here, these pieces. So the process has started. I got it as clean as I can. It's going back on the truck because me and Rob are going offshore again tomorrow at Pensacola Beach. Samantha sent me to get chips, Tostitos. All right, guys, so the ceviche is done. Yay. Samantha is going to give us the rundown from it. Okay guys, so we just pulled the ceviche out of the fridge. We let it go about an hour and a half instead of 30 minutes. Jack had to run some errands and all that kind of stuff. So this is what a finished piece will look like. All right, you see how it's white and opaque. Now depending on the fish, the level and brightness of the white will vary. Um, King mackerel is kind of a um, dark white fish. I don't know how you would say that, but it's not as bright white as like a cod or anything like that. So okay, so to finish it off, I made this ceviche salad. So we're going to put the uh, fish in here. We're going to drain it a little bit. And here we have pineapple, cucumber, tomatoes, avocado, red onion, jalapenos, and some green onion. Now it's okay if some of these juices go into the um, fruit and vegetable mixture. I'll just give it some flavor, but you don't want 
a lot of juices in there and make it all runny. Because we are eating this with tortilla chips. made a lot of ceviche. All right guys, so here's the taste test. I'm gonna try this ceviche. Samantha's behind the camera right now doing her thing so I can do this. I'm pretty excited about it. I made him the perfect bite on the spoon. I eat the spoon first without the, the chips, yeah. All right. Show everyone. All right guys, I made him the perfect bite. It has a little bit of everything in it. All right, so here it goes. It's actually really tasty. The, the square king mackerel has the same texture as the pineapple. It's got the same consistency like in your mouth. So I gotta try it now with a, with a chip. Yep. All right. It's good. Like okay, it with or without the chip. I like it with the chip. Gives it a little salty bite. Mm -hmm. Your turn. All right, Samantha. Sure. Your turn. Okay. I've already tasted it without the chip. So. <laughs> well, I can do it again, though, if you guys want me to. You know, I got a taste test as I cook. That's what a good chef does. Mmm, tons of flavor. Very good. The fish doesn't taste fishy. It absorbed the orange juice and the lime juice um, and the olive oil that we marinated it in. So it takes that fishy bite away from it. Hmm. So it's really good. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this catch and cook episode. I know Samantha had fun cooking it, mm. uh, even though I had to go to the store and get some stuff we were missing. But don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Please follow us on Instagram at Yak Molly and on Facebook at Yak Motley. And uh, we're gonna be doing a few more of these. So. See how much how much weirder we can get with this stuff. See you later. Bye.